It's recording. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey. Okay, so Candace and I wanted to just, we were just been talking today, yesterday, about a couple different of like groups that we were thinking about doing in June or July. Sorry, I don't know how, how it's already July, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we wanted to involve our teams more than maybe what we do sometimes. So we're just going to kind of explain both of them. Um, and you hopefully you'd want to join us. Um, but just let us know what you think, okay? Or you, if you guys have different ideas, like please tell us because we sometimes feel like we run out of ideas and it's awesome to have you guys let us know when you might have a good idea or how we can switch things up. So for sure, let us know if you, yeah. Okay, Candace, you wanna talk about the whatever one you want? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care which one we're um, So we, want to really take advantage of the 21 day fix still being on sale. Um, so we're going to open up an event, not a group, but an event um, to give people a sneak peek into the 21 day fix. So the reason we're doing an event is because you can invite everyone to an event and it's not weird. It's not spammy because they can either accept or decline. No big deal. If they decline, they're never going to see it again. If they accept it, then they'll start seeing what we put into the event page. So we're going to do an event. You guys can use this to invite everyone on your friends list. Like this is where you don't want to discriminate. This is where you just invite everyone because you just never know who's been watching you and who's been curious about it. So this event is going to run all month. And what we want to do is have the first five days kind of launch it with a bang. We're going to be talking a ton about 21 day fix, the containers, the Shakeology, um, and the whole system. We're going to just be sharing a lot of information about how it works and how the challenge groups work. But then what I would like to see happen is every day to have us, one of us share a short video clip with like three or four moves from the 21 day fix or 21 day fix extreme. So they can have like a quick 10 minute workout or whatever for free. They get a taste of what the workouts are like and it kind of will lead them into wanting the whole thing. Um, and then if we want to share some of our recipes or meals that we create using the containers, I think that would be really awesome too. So the first like five or six days, we're going to focus on those programs and our challenge groups and just kind of giving them a ton of value and letting them see what it's all about. Um, and then from there, we'll kind of ease up a little bit, post whatever randomness you guys want to post, um, recipes and tips and just things like that. And then toward the end of the month, we're going to shift gears and just start posting stuff about the business opportunity leading up to another event like we did last night. So um, it'll just be an event page. We will ask you guys to post when you feel like it, just like it was a group. Um, and just share things that you love about the challenge groups and the programs and invite a ton of people and hopefully it will help all of us to take advantage of this promotion that's continuing through the end of the month. Did I miss anything? No, I think that's good. Um, and even honestly, if they're, if you're not doing the 21 day fix, um, I think it's okay to talk about some of the other program programs as well so that they know you have the variety. So um, yeah, obviously sure. that's what I'm doing. So that's what I would be talking about. But if you're not, um, I know like a couple of my coaches, Kylie's doing T25, like talk about that. So I think that, well, that doing Pio, yeah, whatever yeah. you're doing, just share tidbits of it and what you love about it. Yeah, for okay. sure. So if you guys have any, like any ideas or ways that we can change that, we just we, want it to be a free yeah. group, but we want to give content and give ways for them to kind of get started a little bit so that's kind of our, our idea <laughs> we didn't want to do another group because for one thing we have three million groups for another it's really hard to invite enough people like you have to manually physically message them and invite them and there could be people you never even think to invite to a group that would be interested so we'll try this event thing and see how we like it yeah definitely 
And sometimes if you invite a lot of people, you don't necessarily know which one of your people um, accepted. So when sometime you get a chance, just go through. I probably will go through, write down the people that I invited that accepted so that I can also like check in with them, maybe message them to make sure if they have questions or anything. So that's yeah, for I'll sure. Do. Keep track of who you put in there for sure. Yeah. Um, okay. So another idea that we had, um, kind of think of these things out of the blue, but <laughs> so, we were talking about just another actual challenge group that we wanted to get started, um, switch things up just a little bit. And we wanted to start one on the 11th. Sorry, my like calendars right there. So the 11th, which is on Monday, starting it with like prep week that week. Um, and Wait, are you starting prep week Monday? I thought we were saying the 18th. Prep week 18th? Time? Yeah. That's too long. Is it? You want to start on Monday, so we have to fill it this weekend. No, prep week on Monday so they can start prepping. They don't actually start the program till the 18th. Right, but they would have to order like this weekend to be into the group for prep week. Right? Because they have to order before you put them in the group? Yeah. I mean, we could even start like in the middle of the like week. Later oh. in the week. Yeah. yeah. Like I just hate waiting forever. Like I feel like we need to do sure. a group. Yeah. So let's just say start date is pending when we have enough challengers to justify it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's good. <laughs> Look how That's organized true. we are, you guys. Yeah. Obviously we haven't <laughs> talked about this completely. <laughs> um, yeah. I just hate waiting forever because I also want to start one on the first <laughs> and that will be two weeks. So I don't know. Yeah. So here's so, our idea for the group. Um, so we wanted to do a random acts of kindness group, obviously with the challenge group, but focus on, we would do a, like a graphic every day, like just kind of like a check-in and focus on, obviously it's pretty easy to do nice things or little acts for people that we're close to or we love, but more almost focusing on strangers that you run into that probably I would just look down by walking past them um, and sure. just saying hi and a smile, how much you just don't know that might change their day. Um, because I'm, I've personally been like at the grocery store where I'm just not happy and just want to get done or I'm exhausted and somebody will like come randomly and give you a compliment and it just completely changes your mood. So I think that all of us can work on that. So we were thinking that a little group focusing on doing that daily and having people check in would be fun um, and good for all of us to do. So, and also Candace and I, and you guys don't have to do this part of it. Um, we were just, just talking about different ways that we can kind of promote it and talk about it without making it be like, oh, look at all these terrible things that have happened. Um, and now we're going to do this group because of it. Like, that's not what we mean at all. Um, we like Candace and I, uh, one of the ladies that's one of like the elite coaches, her husband was really good friends with two of the cops that were shot in Dallas and he works, um, for the Dallas police. So kind of hit home and she, Candace said that she's going to reach out to her and see if there's anybody that has like a go, is it GoFundMe? or any type of charity that we can donate to. Um, and both of us said that we personally would donate five bucks from every challenge pack that people bought to, to one of those. So um, we can obviously give a little more information after we talk to her. I know for sure one of the police officers that they, his family, they have a GoFundMe. So I know five bucks doesn't seem like a lot if you only get five people, but it adds up. Um, and so that's what we wanted to do. You don't have to. But I just think when you talk about that, it's letting people know that I don't just want your money. I don't just want you to, um, I don't know. I, I'm not just trying to sell to you. We're not, like, we're not trying to capitalize on the event. We just are trying yeah. to help. Help in general and help on yeah. both sides of it, not just mm -hmm. on the helping the families, but helping the normal everyday citizens that, you know, we might need a little <laughs> Making the world a little bit brighter. Yeah. 
Yeah. So that's kind of what we wanted to do. And I was thinking even with my personal challengers, if they send me their like before and afters, I would send them like a little gift at the end or something. So kind of figure that out as, as we go. But it, I, we would love every single one of you to do this with us. Um, obviously we need to pick a date. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I just think like I'll post about it this weekend. Um, I literally have a group starting on Monday. We, like uh, prep week is right now. Yeah. But our team has one that's prep week right now. So right now. Oh, what? <laughs> I mean, we can do it, but I don't, I don't want to wait till the 18th. To start. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the next few days go. And if we have enough people, then we'll get it opened up. Okay. So but post not about it, then... group starting, just like you don't necessarily have to put a specific date on it, but just, I mean, people, the thing is with a group, you don't have to start on the first day. Like I'll continue to add people throughout the month to groups. So you, we could, I could even just open it up and then we can get it started whenever people add their add their challengers so um yeah. yeah I would we just really would love everyone to do it and again you don't have to do any of the donating if you can't can't like for it right now that's totally fine um but I think just in general the acts of kindness would be awesome so and they're free so anyone can do that exactly <laughs> yes exactly. <laughs> and I I almost would be okay with people even if they don't have the money to do a challenge group, just get them hooked up with the free month of on demand, something to get them started. Um, and they can still join with join and do the acts of kindness and hopefully that'll help kind of get them started. So yeah, for sure. Whatever. But if you guys have any questions, let us know and we can kind of talk to each other. Ideas, about, yes. Like any awesome ideas I want to call these groups <laughs> <laughs> yeah and if you, exactly I hate that part I know that's the worst <laughs> I'm bad at hey, it they like summer did, group <laughs> did we want to tell them about the miracle morning well yeah we can I, I just think that's that? a lot now <laughs> we'll wait okay we'll wait we have something coming for you <laughs> working on more <laughs> We're always yeah. working on more. <laughs> I know. Like, I feel like we're always, time goes by so fast and all of a sudden it's almost the end of the month. And then, then you have yeah. to think of all these yeah. new, new things, but we kind of wanted to let everybody know we didn't sometimes doing a full like team call. Um, to we get have everybody so on. many people right now who are like all different time zones, clear back to the East coast and yeah. full time working versus not working. And just the schedules are so hard right now. So. That's yeah. why we haven't done a team call, but we're going to probably try to put one together soon. Yeah. So, um, again, let us know if you guys have any ideas whatsoever. And I mean, if you guys know of anybody that has like any ways to like donate to, um, it, you know what, it doesn't even have to be to the cops. It could be to any of the families that have lost loved ones. It doesn't have to be to the cops, um, any of the other shootings that have happened. So I would be absolutely fine with that. So or really any charity that you Yeah, need. any charity. I just think that all of us can do a little more than what we're doing. So, yeah. okay. All right, guys. Well, yeah, let us know, okay?